Well, we're at uh, Fisherville here, the Wild Horse Creek uh, historic site. So the three of us are here, first time here. This is pretty cool. Lots of history, so we're just going to do some panning. A couple vehicles here. Probably some of you guys off the forums. There's another, uh, I think it's a Pathfinder behind the truck here. But uh, yeah, if you know who we are, say hi. Yeah, I am. Say hi. Uh, don't be an idiot. <laughs> well, we're at Wild Horse here, Wild Horse Creek, and this is where all the hydraulic mining of the gold rush starting in 1850, 60, or 1864 started. It's crazy how much material they pushed with their water their hydraulic hoses. All right, we just got down here on the wild horse. Uh, this is the hydraulics tailings area. You can see, I don't know if you can see through the trees here, but we just walked over all the tailings. Huge piles of tailings. So, just unloading the backpacks and the gear here at the pans and stuff. It's all hand panning here, obviously. So, yeah, Eric's got his miner's backpack going here. So, <laughs> I guess he put a video up of it already. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, uh, we, uh, we walk down here and it looks like there's been people here. You can see they dug under that big rock there, which is a good idea. Nice big boulder there. And you can see people have been digging here like crazy. There's uh, lots of places that are dug out and, and uh, little tailings piles here and there, but we're at the very south end of the claim here right now. So, yeah, Justin's up there. It's funny, I was looking along here. Behind a lot of these rocks, people have been digging, which is pretty cool. So we'll see this how it goes. This is pretty cool. We found an old gold cart. Wow. That's pretty cool. Huh. Got a little, uh, uh, what do you call it, like door on the back anyways, you can see there. Did a nice job, it's all. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, here we have one of the old, old hydraulic uh, pump lines that they allowed the water to flow down at. Uh, I believe on the sign he said up to 250 psi. You can see it wrapped in all this wire here. So, this uh, was apparently made in San Francisco, USA which he said was quite expensive, but outpaid itself 10 times over. So that's a pretty cool find up here. But yeah. Hey there, we're uh, on day two of our little trek here in Fisherville, BC. Uh, the original site of the original gold rush in 1864. Um, we found this little cutout here that you can see. Um, we obviously didn't dig this with pans, but somebody did. And you can see, I don't know if you can see in the video down there, there's uh, bedrock uh, flat down in there. So we've been scraping along there a little bit. But our best bet we found is up in this yellow rusty stuff. You can see it there. Um, so we've just been catching it in pans and uh, just panning it out. So I've got just a couple digging tools here, a little mini pickaxe thing, just a little metal one and a scoop. We've got a couple other little folding shovels and stuff like that so we'll see how it goes but uh, we're just gonna do a quick live demo here of what we've been doing uh, today so I'll just hack some of this out now I'm gonna stand a little ways back just because this is a really big rock and I don't want it to fall on my head so <laughs> it's gonna be a little hard to see here with all the roots but we'll just hack at it some of this good uh, rich yellow stuff we've been finding some flakes in. 
pan gets heavier real quick. We dug along the bedrock. I actually thought it would be better down there, but uh, didn't find very much right on the bedrock. So we'll see what this does. It's all untouched. You can see the different levels from in the river when it flowed through here, but uh, we'll go pan this out and see what we find. All right, so now that we got our uh, classifier here, this is what, one eighth, a quarter. Let's throw it in our can there and dump this in. We'll give it a quick rinse. You can see it's very yellow, very rusty colored. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but from what I've read it is. I should pan, I don't know. You want to pan? Is your video. Okay, Eric's going to pan for us here. Expert yeah, yeah. panning. <laughs> Not an expert panner at all. Then he can be in the video too. Uh -oh. We got our buddy Justin here panning away. Put all the water on the chair. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know if it was me. We'll blame it on Justin. It's a nice day here. Out on the uh, Wild Horse River here, on the historic claim. It's pans only here. No sluices or uh, anything like that, or high bankers, dredges. Yeah, I don't know if you can see here in the video, but uh, for a few hundred meters up the mountainside is uh, back in 1864 during the gold rush where the 5,000 people uh, mined. And we were down yesterday, you saw in the video, um, on the hydraulic uh, tailings, that they hydraulic the side of the mountain out, uh, that where we were, were yesterday. We didn't have much success over there, just a few specks here and there. He's just doing a quick pan here. I've been keeping some cons in a bucket here. We found a few, uh, I would say good sized flakes. Um, Eric said he picked his up with a pair of tweezers, so not really pickers, but, uh, but a decent size. Doing the one handed one here, eh? <laughs> I think so. I don't think it's filled enough with this many ripples, though. So. Just making out. Anything good? <laughs> One spec. One spec? Where's it at? Right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. Huh, now was a quick pan, there's probably a little more in here, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just bugging you. <laughs> All right, so anyways, quick demo of our hand panning routine we got going on here on the Wild Horse at the old historic Fisherville site. So, hope you enjoyed it. We'll uh, see what we get out of this batch.